converting between quadratic forms, vertex form to factored form. Okay. Vertex form tells you the vertex right away. Factored form gives you the x-intercepts right away. Uh, factored Vertex form a times x minus h squared plus k. hk is the vertex. Factored form a times x minus p times x minus q. p and q are your x-intercepts. Okay, so we're going from vertex form to factored form. The problem is, this one's the, probably the longest one. Uh, if you want to go from vertex form to factored form, you have to take a detour first. If you're going from vertex form to factored form, you have to go from vertex form to standard form first. So we're going to go vertex form to standard form and then standard form to factored form. So like I said, this is the longest one, but it's not really the hardest one because we already did these. We did vertex. You should know how to do vertex to standard and you should know how to do standard to factored. So it's just a little longer and time consuming, but not necessarily harder than the others because it involves the others. So on this one, we're actually going to figure out all three forms, which also means we're going to know the vertex from vertex form, the y-intercept from standard form, and the x-intercepts from factored form, which is going to be all five of the points that you need to graph these. Okay, so let's go through this one. This first one's in vertex form. Okay. So like I said, our first move here is we're going to go from vertex form, and we're going to convert it to standard form. If you remember how to convert from vertex to standard form, it starts by expanding. Okay. So expanding means you're going to write out that binomial squared as x minus 2 times x minus 2. Okay. And don't forget the minus 4 at the end. Okay. The second part was we foiled. So first outside, inside, last on the x minus 2 times x minus 2. Again, that is a perfect square trinomial. So it's going to be x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4. Don't forget the minus 4 at the end. Now we combine like terms. Okay. The like terms that we have are this plus 4 at the end, minus 4. Now, plus 4 minus 4 goes away. That eliminates. So all we're left with is x squared minus 4x, okay. which is standard form. Okay. Now, it doesn't really look like a normal standard form, but it is. You have an a value of 1, you have a b value of negative 4, and you have a c value of 0. So there's just not a c value there. All right, so now we're in standard form and we want to go into factored form okay to go from standard form to factored form all you have to do is factor okay well in the first step of every factoring is to look for a greatest common factor okay now this one's not a trinomial so there's not much else we could have done besides greatest common factor the greatest common factor is x squared and 4x is just x and it leaves behind x minus 4. Okay. It's factored, we can't do anything else. So that is our factored form version. Okay. Now it doesn't necessarily look like our no other factored forms. Uh, you can rewrite this a little bit. Okay. The x times x minus 4, that's fine. That's the answer. You could leave it like that. Uh, but kind of what a factored form more normally looks like is you have the a value in front. The a value is 1 because there was a number in front in the original. And then you have x minus p and x minus q. Okay. Now p in this problem is 0. So it would be x minus 0, which of course we never write any, something minus 0. We just write it as x. And then x minus 4. 
So that's kind of what factored form more, you know, usually looks like. Uh, but both of those are right. All right, so let's get some information that we know. We know from vertex form, well, we know the vertex. The vertex is 2, negative 4. From standard form, we know the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the c-value, and we said the c-value is 0. And then from factored form, we know the x-intercepts. Okay, The opposite of what you see, x minus 0 means you have an x-intercept at 0. And x minus 4 means you have an x-intercept at 4. So these problems, you get to know everything, everything we possibly can know. All right, so again, it's nothing new, nothing, you know, no new techniques. You're just taking a quick detour from vertex into standard and then standard into factored. We'll do one more. Let's say we have y equals negative 2 times x plus 2 squared. plus 32. Okay. All right. Start by going from, we're currently in vertex form. We're going to go into standard form first. And the steps for that was to expand first. Okay. So we're going to expand the x plus 2 times x plus 2. Don't forget the plus 32 at the end. FOIL. First outside, inside, last on the binomial times the binomial. Again, the A value is just going to stay out front. X times X is X squared. X times 2 is 2X. Two, 2 times X is 2X. Combine those and you get 4X. And then last, 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 32. Distribute. Distribute that negative 2 that's out front. That's the A value. Okay. So we're going to multiply everything by negative 2, not, but not everything, everything in the parentheses. So not the plus 32 at the end. So negative 2x squared minus 8x minus 8 plus 32. And finally, combine like terms. We can combine the minus 8 and the plus 32 that's out back. That's going to leave us with negative 2x squared minus 8x. And minus 8 plus 32 is positive 24. Now again, that is standard form. We're not done. Because we don't want to go into standard form. We want to go into factored form. So we know standard form. We started in vertex form. And now we're going to take this standard form and we're going to factor it to go into factored form. First step of every factoring problem is to factor the GCF. This one does have a greatest common factor. We got it. The A value is negative 2, the B value is negative 4, the C value is 24. So they're all even, which means they have at least a greatest common factor of 2. Okay. Now we're not going to take out 2, we're actually going to take out negative 2 because we always want that x squared value to be positive. So we're going to factor out negative 2, which is going to leave behind x squared. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is plus 4x. And 24 divided by negative 2 minus 12. So we factored out the GCF. And now we're going to factor using product sum. Okay. 
we have to figure out what multiplies to negative 12 and adds to positive 4. All right, that negative 2 is going to stay out front. Again, it's x squared, so we know it's going to be x and x. And then what multiplies to negative 12 and adds to positive 4? Well, it's going to be positive 6 and negative 2. And now that is factored form. Okay, so again, we got all three started in vertex, put it in standard, factored to put it in factored form. Let's go through and figure out what we know. What's the vertex? What's negative 2, comma 32? You get that right from fact from vertex form. Standard form gives us the y-intercept. The y-intercept is always a c-value, so the y-intercept is 24, the number without the variable in standard form. And factored form tells us the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are p and q, in this case, negative 6 and positive 2. All right, so again, those are the, mo the longest ones, but it's not a new technique. It's just using old stuff, uh, but it, it does take a little bit of time. Okay, so that is the last and final conversions. So we, at this point, you should know how to convert any form of a quadratic into any other form of a quadratic. In this particular one, vertex to factored, go vertex to standard, standard to factored.